Lucum oak is a special tree. It's one of the oldest trees at Kew, but also it creates this sculptural feeling. Every angle of it presents a different formation. So it's a special tree because it's a hybrid that you know, doesn't happen often in the wild. Somehow it happened in the 1700s in a nursery by mistake and turned into this incredible body. But also we wanted to create this very charismatic photogenic tree as a portal into the world of the oak. So Lucum oak is a portal. We selected as a portal to invite people into the, the world of the oak. we were able to create a very accurate depiction of the tree. But at the end of the day, this is not a data visualization. This is an artistic project where we start from the ground truth, as accurate as possible, and then bring the, the drama, where we accelerate time to bring people into tree time. In 12 minutes, you cycle through 12 seasons. You see the undulating different states, the inner structures and the animism. So these advanced technologies and tools allow us and enable us to, to see, to show the hidden animism that is often tucked away and can only be observed through these lenses. Essentially, on a, on a simplest level, it's a 3D camera, but actually it's recording rather than pixels and individual bits of light, it's recording where the return's coming from. And that allows us to construct, in this case, the tree in very high resolution in 3D, and it allows us to take that tree apart. So there'll be millions of little points. We can break all of the branches off, all of the leaves in the tree, and actually count them and quantify what's happening of them. We can also return back to this tree and record again, maybe in a year's time, to see which parts of the tree are growing and which might not be growing as well. So we were the, some of the scientific advisors, so we we're advising on the structure of the tree and what the tree was looking at. The artists were actually using the same instruments as this, but in an artistic way, and the same technology we use in science, but again to bring colour and light to the tree rather than us where we're trying to discover what's going on within the tree and how it's growing. So we were bringing a lot of knowledge on how the tree was growing, what was going on underground as well, and whilst we can use instruments like radar to look at the roots, they're quite crude still, and we need to give quite a bit of interpretation as to what that's actually doing. And then at the actual tree, how it's growing, what the movement of water, carbon dioxide as well into that tree. I've been working at Kew for seven years and I've been up this, this very tree three or four times looking after it, moving dead wood. But I've never really seen the image that we can now see through the artwork of what happens below the ground. 
As arborists, we often use root penetrating radar to um, foresee issues if we're building and want to plant trees in an area. But actually having that image to showcase to not only us, as people working in horticulture here at Kew, but visitors and children alike who can really then stand in front of that artwork and look and think that's right between my toes right now. So as you can imagine, it's May, it's 27 degrees, 10 degrees above average for the time of year. So the trees around us here at Kew are really struggling with the heat. And, and that's interesting for us, one, because it's a terrifying reminder that climate change is here and it's affecting the trees that we have living on site. But it also showcases to us what trees are struggling and what trees are not. We almost have like a living library of trees here at Kew from all over the world. And it's really important for us to look at the trees that maybe are really showing signs of promise, like the Lucum oak, because of its heritage. It's a hybrid between a Hungarian oak and a, a cork oak. And that mix gives it that battle against the, the drought that we're facing and the lack of rainfall.